Jennifer's suspicions proved true. Siri had appeared in Skelly. She'd arrived from another world together with a mass mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Belen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusjal, meaning Siri too might have returned to Skellige. Interesting. Good day, everyone. My name is Spoon, and welcome back to The Witcher 3, episode 41. We return to the little hurt Siri. The calm before the storm. Follow Astrid to the sauna. Very well. Hello, Astrid. If that's your name. Sorry that about that. Keep your elbow up, your arrow go astray. I know, but my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And maybe hmm. the string don't catch on your nose. Can you need a bit faster? You're really slow. Sorry about that. Go ahead, lead. Very slow. But that's okay. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them. I should think so. Okay. Locked. It's locked. Right. Oh, left. Okay. Leave your clothes in the changing room. Okay. Uh, where? Here? No idea. Use. Books. Undress. Leave the changing room. Just undress. Oh well. Grab yourself in towel. Go to a sauna. Dress and leave. Grab yourself in towel. Go to sauna? These are weird directions. Wrap yourself in a towel? Well, whatever makes you comfortable. Okay. Interesting. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mom, she's from the continent. She's shy. I'm so cold. <laughs> uh, that, they wouldn't believe that. I'm not at all shy. I just wanted something to sit on. Hmm. Expect me to believe that? Astrid, behave yourself, or I'll send you to gut fish with your pa. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Small tip, this is not for children. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? I have no home. Um... You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, let's tell them the truth, because then maybe the Witcher will know more. No, that's not right. I wasn't in a shipwreck. Hmm. So, what brings you to our shores? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skjall? Oops. What the hell? He's not half bad. Seems nice. To tell the truth, I prefer woman. Oh, interesting. That is very interesting. I like that option. Giving m more randomness, more color, more modern selection. Uh, seems nice? Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. I know, right? Listen. It's lovely sitting here with you, but 
I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lockwitton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I really should go. Well, why not? It will help you, Siri. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Yes! Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be going over here now. Cold. That must be very cold, milady. Uh, um, milady, milady. She wants me to go over here. Hello. Um, see you. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, go over this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, you know what? Fine. If you don't want to go that way, then let's go over here then and you walk over there. There you go. The ladies don't. I'm sorry. Uh, drink. Alrighty then. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'll be going. Have fun. Enjoy. Guten Tag. Miladies. Um. <clears throat> if only if I would have told Siri, hey, go naked anyways. Well, what do you know? Remove towel. Oh no. Uh. Dress and leave? Yeah, dress and leave. Ah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be going. Enjoy. Go and talk. Oh, man. I was this close to, like, say, fuck it. Let's see what... No, that's not the gentleman way. I'm a gentleman, after all. Oh, man. Oh. You're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No, just said you like me. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time right now. <laughs> oh, God. No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... You know what? That's right. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. Oh! I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye. Me first. We don't have much time. But it's enough for you to learn a few things. Oh my goodness. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'm going! I can look after myself. And I thought they were about to go to business, you know what I mean. Yoink, yoink, yoink. The wink. Oh. Again, you didn't pick any sword, but that's okay. Whoa! Yeehaw! Come on, attack me, Wild Hunt. I dare you. No, you don't. Yeah. 
Oh, he can, he can also can fight. He dead. It says try and defeat them. I'm defeating them pretty well. Nailed it. Whoa, never mind. Now he's dead. Yeah, you are really good. You're the wild hunt after all. There's a lot of you guys. But where's your leader? I know the wild hunt is a king or a leader. They're all dead, but I think more is, yeah, I thought so, more coming. Very well, they're portaling in, let's get out of here. What? What was that? The wild hunt. Right in the log. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. Thanks, girl. What about your family? You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go. Wow. She just met her for like a day and he already prefers her above his family. Hey. Am I not faster by blinking instead of being on a horse? Oh well. Ow. What do you know? Miss. Miss. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's doing it right. My horse is not doing good. Don't mind me. You good, horse? And let's go. Make it to the drowned dead rock while avoiding the riders of the wild huns. Ah, yes. Your horse failing as well? Nah? Okay. Let's go. friend, the elf. <laughs> and that's how he's gonna... No, way. Yep. They remind me of Lord of the Rings and Hobbit, the Death Knights. They're scared of the water. How interesting. And he died. Oh no, he lived. And then he died? That doesn't make sense. Okay. What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him. And... To 
home. No, no. Be gone. It's a town of my name. Be gone, I say. <laughs> Fuck. You okay? That costs a lot of energy, right? What do you see? Oh no, the place is... Oh no. Everything else died around... What happened to the garden? How are you feeling? Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Well, um, you could have shown a little sympathy. What happened to the garden? What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said. The spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Hmm. Yennefer, I don't like how you're speaking to me. You could have shown a little sympathy. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. Mm -hmm. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, alright? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. Let's the garden! Get... Our garden! Oh, yeah. Why could you? We helped! And you! Unconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! We had a no choice, I'm sorry. I am sorry for Yennefer, cause she's a bitch a little. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? It was me. It was her. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Ah, <sighs> I told her a bad idea, but she did it anyways. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skell told us. We know Sirius is not in Skellica. The ugly creature that's linked to Sirius somehow. We know Sirius is not in Skellica. Didn't learn much. Though... Though we can be sure Sirius is not in Skellica anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Thank you for the promise. The argue creature is linked to Siri somehow. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardal. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. 
Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. Excuse me? What did you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well... She's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. What now? Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine, see you now, Varga. Need a bit of time, gotta attend to something first. Let's do it! Fine, Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. But still, Yennefer, what you did was wrong. Even though we got information that helped, we could have found another way. Destroying a whole garden and making a whole skeleton mad at you? That wasn't smart. Tell the Baron's sergeant you want to take Umma. Mass travel. Oh, interesting. Ugly Bay? Interesting. Tell the Baron's sergeant you want to take Uma. Uma. Ugly baby. So, what do we do? Is this this fast traveling thing? Yeah. Oh, do we go back to this Baron sergeant? Wait a minute. Of course. No man's land. And then Baron... Where is he? Where is he? It was here, right? Tell the Baron Sergeant you want to take... Uma. Let's try and go to the Baron Sergeant first and see if he has some info. Okay. Long time no seen, guys. How's it going? Tell the Baron Sergeant you want to take Uma. Okay. Very interesting. Long time no seen. We've been here a very long time ago. Yes, I remember everything. Did quite a lot of things here. Now I'm curious what the Sergeant of the Baron wants to know about me. If only if I would have chosen to let the Baron not hang himself. What if the, what that would have happened? The Baron would still live. Would he be much of a help? Who knows? Sergeant! Are you here? Are you home? Are you in... Baron's office? Ah, uh, yes you are. How's it going, Sergeant? Very interesting. Before I talk to you... This is glowing. Um... Before I call Seth, <laughs> and they annoy me... Um, <clears throat> You mind if I take this? Baron's notes. Interesting. Gwen, Valen players. Okay, I don't care. Anything else before? Okay, nothing. Hello, Sergeant. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, I'm here to take him away. Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you. You can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. 
an abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Interesting. Okay. That conversation went well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I remember you guys being little pigs. Okay. Yeah. Ugly baby, the groom. Tell the person minding the stables that you are taking Uma. Okay. Is that you then? I'm Stable? taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Out of my way, find some other diversion. Uh. Excuse me? Do I now. Out of my way, find some other diversion. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. I don't know what's happening. The last wish? Following the three? Hey, Why are you. Why am I failing stuff? This here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Interesting. I'm not. I'm not sure why I'm failing quests left and right, but I hope it's not punishing me. On the road again. Whoa. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. Uh oh. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. Interesting. What the hell is going on? Vizima, one the day later. Army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Bangli consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. Have it your way, your majesty. I don't take orders. Oh shit! I wouldn't do that. I don't want to piss off an emperor. As you wish, your majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say.
for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I know I say was what sh what she what did. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my vassals. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Siri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Siri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might be your daughter. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research. Made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Rafael Ellen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Don Eptened, Andro Ithne Iacus. Gizon type. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fair enough. I don't intend to bring her here. So be it. Uh, I don't need to tell him that. I'll just take her yoink here. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. If I don't plan to bring her here, I don't need to tell him that. <laughs> I just won't do it. You... You're biting with... Where'd you go? What? Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. Bloody hell. Yen, so I have used to help you in Skellige. Yen, what happened back there in Skellige? Please, Geralt. There's nothing left to say. Yen. No more. Please. Okay, the curse. How do we lift it? So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry. We'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Interesting. <laughs> See ya. Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's fortress of Kaer Morhen. Oh, we go back. Interesting. Kier Morn, one week later. Back where it all started. Oh, there, Roach. 
What the fuck was that? Fork tails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Hmm. Damn, that's a nice fortress. Not bad. <clears throat> I wonder why Yennefer and Gail were there in episode 1 in the first place. Where, why the story started there. I wonder if that really is Siri. Well, look for the wind. Been away quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Why so dirty? Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's already here? Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt. I understand she's a, well, how do I put this, emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? Yeah, she she's very aggressive. In, not even a nice to see jumps right into a, we've a curse to live, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. What's Yen planning? So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. Sounds suspicious. Must have her reasons. Sounds suspicious. She's up to something. Glad you noticed. <laughs> that was a good bed. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... You okay? Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. Hmm. Where's every... Where's everyone? So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well... Like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. <laughs> and this is where we're gonna stop for this episode. Roach, you okay? Roach, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at you, Roach. <laughs> well, we're gonna do the quest ugly baby in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as always, I'll see you next video. Have fun, enjoy, and good talk. Thank you.